Hello, I'm attorney Tom Kendo. In recent months, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or CFPB, has been aggressively enforcing violations of the anti-kickback provision of the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, or RESPA. In the past year, these enforcements have resulted in fines ranging from the tens of thousands all the way into the million plus dollars. Many of the types of arrangements that they have been determined to be illegal are identical to the schemes and alleged business proposals that are becoming popular in our market. For this reason, the Dayton Area Board of Realtors felt it was appropriate to provide some information on this provision. Section 8 of RESPA prohibits anyone from giving or accepting a fee, kickback, or anything of value in exchange for referrals of settlement service business involving a federally related mortgage loan. In addition, RESPA prohibits fee splitting and receiving unearned fees for services not actually performed. The purpose of this law is to eliminate situations where individuals are connected to real estate settlement transactions, pay for, or provide other things of value in exchange for the referral of business in any transaction involving a federally related mortgage loan. While these types of illegal arrangements can occur in many ways, the common scenarios are situations where a loan originator or title agent pays for or provides to a realtor the following, a vacation, outing, or free or reduced price use of a condo or home, golf or sporting events, or business-related expenses. Two scenarios in this last category, which have become recently popular, involve the loan officer and or title agent paying for or producing marketing materials for the realtor or buying leads for the realtor from Realtor.com or other third-party providers. The realtor gratefully accepts their offer to provide or pay for these goods or services and naturally sends them business in return. It is important to note that there does not have to be any express or written requirement to refer the business to the loan officer or title agent in order for this to be considered illegal. When a violation does occur, the CFPB has imposed, as mentioned earlier, fines that run into the tens of thousands of dollars and in extreme cases into the millions. The fines may be imposed upon the individual who gave or who received the goods or services and also upon their brokerage or company. Before you consider any arrangement where you will receive anything of value or before you would establish any marketing and service agreements or affiliated business arrangements, it is critical that you seek the approval of your broker and experienced legal counsel.